Pals. The old city is close. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes. They're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much. But they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. Even armed, I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I've failed myself, but I live.
I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. The divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever.
General, we observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Gatesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the pass on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. We have sealed the doors and barred them from entry. The riders are coming, and I must keep these people safe. Mothers with children, old men like me, those that cannot fight. I have food and water in sufficient quantities to keep us alive for the length of the attack. Should our Athanatoi fail and the attack becomes a siege, we will die here. For that, I have enough belladonna to provide the little ones with safe passage. Pray it never comes to that. This is, hmm, particularly odd. Has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, n not possible. <laughs> 